Hey folks, today we're looking at an alleged trail cam photo released a few days ago on Reddit by a guy that goes by the handle of Florida Swamp Ape. The photo looks interesting, but the question is, is it real or not? So this photo was released on July 18th or 19th, 2023 on Reddit. Florida Swamp Ape claims it was given to him by his friend and was a trail cam photo. The photo was taken in Williston, Florida, which is between Gainesville and Ocala, Florida. In the picture, we see a hairy primate-looking creature apparently clutching a youngster while situated behind a log. Also in the picture is an apparent deer feeder. In this first test, we ran an error-level analysis test to determine if the picture was photoshopped or manipulated by AI or CGI. The test result was negative, indicating what you see in this picture is actually what was photographed. A quick caveat, however, since we do not have the source picture, the results at some times can be manipulated. Our next test, we ran a reverse image analysis, and that too did not reveal any photo manipulation. This test is not fooled by not having the source picture. Again, we see no evidence signs of Photoshop, AI, or CGI. In our next analysis, we look at the photographic smear or blurring. The analysis showed potential movement of the baby in a different direction than the adult. Caveat here is that pixelation can cause what appears to be smear. So again, this analysis is very subjective and certainly not conclusive. Some of the Redditors, as they call themselves, also had some very subjective assessments as to what it may be, ranging from an escaped chimpanzee or bonobo to seeing a boot underneath the log. Again, at any point, these are all subjective and are just opinions. There's, so there is no smoking gun as far as the photo is concerned. At least, not yet. But I do have a number of concerns. This is a trail cam photo, but where is the metadata such as the time and date stamp? There are no other trail cam pics to go with this one for comparison. There is no backstory, and as you know, if there's no story behind the evidence, it is not evidence. And one thing I've heard many times in my 25 years of Bigfoot research that always turns out to be a, a hoax is the line, I got this from my friend. All investigations are usually pragmatic and need to conclude with 100% certainty. Right now, I have no tentative conclusion to this photo, although I can comfortably state it is not looking good. Here's why. In many of the statements made on Reddit by Florida Swamp Ape, usually answers are very simple and vague. Okay, that may be just all he knows. After all, the photo was just given to him by a friend. But how about the constant statements of believing it was an escaped chimpanzee or bonobo and googling different animals? Why post it to a Bigfoot Reddit page then? Why does your screen name say Florida Swamp Ape? The casual answer was, and I am paraphrasing here, that Florida Swamp Ape believed that there were people who could determine at the Bigfoot Reddit page what it was. And he casually explains the whole Florida Swamp Ape name thing was a joke, but more on that later. Again, I'll state I've been doing this Bigfoot thing for 25 years. And generally, when I see answers like the ones I discussed previously as a bad omen, the omissions and ignoring que other questions such as where are the timestamps, where are the p other pics from the trail cam, what make and model was the trail cam, and how about an unaltered picture, and the fact that all those questions are ignored, this usually means that hoaxery is afoot. And by afoot, I don't mean Bigfoot. Finally, we have identified who Florida Swamp Ape is. As we've seen, he states his casual dismissal of his handle as just being coincidental, but we have found pics of him in April of 2023 at the Florida Bigfoot Conference. Could this be his inspiration for perpetrating a hoax? We also know that he is into fantasy games and his handle was created while at GameStop. He lives in Central Florida. We also know that by his own admission, he loves creative writing in a fantasy setting and has penned some books. Haven't we run into a couple of other hoaxers that have claimed to have been authors of fantasy books before? Now, I haven't outed his identity yet in hopes of communicating with him to come to a resolution of this. But for now, this is looking like a hoax, seeing the disingenuous answers we received on Reddit. Till next time, folks, this is the Squatch Detective Steve Culls. We'll catch you Sunday nights live, 9 p.m. Eastern on Squatch D TV. I'm
don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love Hey folks, I want you to consider joining the channel as a member. It's a great way to support great big research and an honest channel out there. And it starts at only 99 cents. And already we've announced the two new shows we're putting on there. Plus you're going to get a lot more and you're going to see me uncensored as well. So anyway folks, consider it, think about it. We have three levels. The highest level is only $4 a month to become a channel sponsor. So a lot of great perks. Check it out. We'll catch you all later.